I was just taken aback, my man. I'm sure folks out there listening right now, you know, would be like, no, man, this ain't Nevis, man. No, no. Yeah. You know what? I um, mean, it, just, just, just the fact that um, she's not only a performer, but I understand also she's a real good songwriter. And good singer. So it's not, th- and this is what I, this is what I like about the, the artist. She's versatile. Mm-hmm. She she can give you that that real Tanya Steele style and and mm-hmm. you know lady song, and she can still give you that that kind of Celine Dion kind of yeah. So, yeah. so you know you know I mean so after hearing this now, folks, you know this is this is what happened. You know after hearing this, you know I I you know began doing my little investigation, investigation. investigation. You know, trying to find out who is this artist where can i find this artist and it took me a while you know it took me a bit you know coupled with the faith of the almighty you know he just you know as you, as you see and you are a, a, you know a, a child of the almighty he really guides you into you know what you're really you know seeking for so mm-hmm. i don't call these things coincidence it's just the workings of the most i trust me you know that we just encountered each other one or two more times and we, we, we spoke about this thing and you know tried to make it a reality in the sense that I touched base with my brethren Bingy in mm-hmm. Rass, mm-hmm. you know, in Black Circle Studio and you know we, we spoke, I told him, well, hey, you know, I've, I've seen this, this talent and I've, I've approached the artist and she's, she's willing to, to be worked with and you know, I really want to really be able to to take this artist to another level and take music other needs to another level and really you know a lot of people know him as a musician but a lot of people don't know him as a producer, producer yeah. so i really want to be able to take you know this homegrown thing you know on another level and you know personally owns when it comes to homegrown that's like my passion yep. you know homegrown if i love it a hundred percent i think you love it too yeah that, that's 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 that's, that's <laughs> the reality you know so i said i said bingy yeah so bingy said man okay you know if so you know since it's really so and so you know coming to the artist going to the artist and you know we sat down you know me and being and we reason you know mm-hmm. we, a couple of things and then we said sis chin go on in the studio damn boy it's a thing man yeah <laughs> <laughs> and, and you know well she told me she she had a, a track that she wrote you know mm-hmm. and it was sunday you know and trying it out you know so before she went in the studio she she was there and she did a little thing for us you know uh-huh. you just wrote this sunday yeah. you just trying out a thing yeah you're that playing that. with me man you know like, <laughs> you're, you're playing with me so you know bingy you know the producer you know pull up and read him you know one that he he you know he's working on. I, I i must mention folks though that you know it, it is it is just it is just the fact that we really want to get the voice up because we're trying to do some work and really trying to get her you know busy for the christmas season so we really want to get her voice out you know so that folks could recognize the, the talent the, the track is still you know doing its, its final it's mastering okay, okay, and okay, so okay. on you know so folks out there you know this is not a total thing is a kind of guy i must let you know that when it comes to his his work you know he is very meticulous, you know. He yeah. he want to make sure that he gets everything together. So, please don't blame Bing if you feel like the production at this point is not, you know, up to hundred percent. We, we, we force it. We, we, we force it, yeah, <laughs> you know. Yeah. So, Bingy, I, I'm sorry, man. If they, you know, if, but the, the fact is, <laughs> we're gonna be um, giving you folks Cochita Baxter. Yeah. She is presently in Nevis, living, working, you know, and she's homegrown talent right now. She's you know, giving it to you love and love. This one is is more is more um, a, a, a a singing one, you know. Mm-hmm. And it's well, I don't want to talk about your business, man, you know. Man. But it, it's it's a personal experience. This one is called Sunday Night. Folks out there, I mean, I think this song would, would last forever because you know somebody out there could relate to to this experience, and somebody will always be you know relating to this. So. Take a listen to this one, Cochita Baxter, her first single produced right here on the island of Queen City. This is totally homegrown. Black Circle Production, Ras Bingi, Cochita Baxter, Management Yasantafari. 